Good morning, Living Waters. Welcome back. So it's lovely Thursday. We have another passage from a book we've been diving into a lot recently. I didn't plan this, but we've been accessing a lot. It's a great read. It's only six chapters, but it's highly recommended. The book of Ephesians. Today, actually, turn us to chapter 4. We're going to kind of break it down. Uh, we're looking at verses 14 through 16 in, in chapter 4 of Ephesians. Um, we're going to break it down verse by verse. So verse 14. We must no longer be children tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming, great sentence. <clears throat> this is funny. I often think we in the church worry about the craftiness of deceitful scheming. And not even just we in the church. We as a country, right? There's always a new... Um, thing that's come to, to trick us, to scam us. There's a new thing to be afraid of, to worry about, right? And this this text is telling us, stop it. And, um, you know, it, it's not something that is substantive. We shouldn't fall for these, these scare tactics. Both of our major political parties employ them all the time. And rather effectively, may I add. Our media uses it all the time. Fear, uh, you know, bleeds it leads, that it all sells, right? Um, we we got to be careful. Can't get sucked up in this stuff because we should be focused on what now? What is true? So anyway, not even every wind of doctrine, too. <laughs> don't get, it's also the writer of Ephesians is saying, yeah, don't, don't also get caught up in every little pontification of theological thinking. I highly agree. <laughs> Moving on. Verse 15, but speaking... The truth and love, oh hey, that's what we're supposed to do instead? Great. We must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, right? So uh, instead of focusing on whatever we're supposed to be afraid of this week, whatever is the, uh, I'll say it, the fake news <laughs> uh, of the week, again, both parties employ this quite well, um, you know, the rumor, the hearsay, the, um, I mean, I would say the the fake news, as it were. I guess not even fake news, but the ignorance of folks. I can't tell you how many times I'll read an article and then I make the mistake of reading the comment section because I'm interested in good dialogue, but instead I get people who clearly didn't read the article. They're not basing their discussion on facts, on truth, right? Okay, I know, mini soapbox there. But as Christians, we should be focused on doing that extra work of seeking the truth. And speaking it in love. Notice it's not speaking the truth in anger or speaking the truth in wrath. Rather, you know, as this book will say later, the wrath is for the, the Lord only. Rather, speaking truth in love. Love for who? You know the answer. As we talk about the truth, it's that Jesus Christ died for all. God came not into the world not to condemn it, but in order to save it. As John writes, okay? Um, the truth... In love, this is this is important to couple those together. But yeah, I think we know what speaking the truth not in love looks like as well. <laughs> also, often in the comment section. <laughs> Moving on, doesn't mean love can be a little tough sometimes, though. Um, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by every ligament with each it is equipped, as each part is. Eat, working properly promotes the body's growth and building itself up in love. Again, we're in this together. Reflections of one of us reflect everyone else. And so what the Ephesians writer is showing, if we're chasing the fear tactics, if we're giving in to the disunifying uh, forces that are around us right now, um, if we're going around <laughs> trolling and I guess, fear mongering and and spreading fake news, that reflects poorly on all of Christians, right? Because we're connected. We're in this together. And so as Christians, we should be speaking in truth and love together. We shouldn't be afraid of speaking the truth. And openly saying, denying the nonsense that's out there. Focusing on what matters most, what God has taught us. The radical love and grace for all people. Fulfillment of vocation and, and calling, gifts, purpose. These are the things that matter. Building relationships and community with loved ones and beyond. These are the truth that we should be sharing. 
with all people, by the way. Not the mother nonsense. Not to be tossed in the, what was it? I want to get it one more time. The every wind of doctrine, people's trickery, or their craftiness and deceitful scheming. We're going to leave you on that, because that's just another, again, a great sentence. We're going to wrap it up somehow tomorrow. God bless you.